um, this is Austin from the Austin Yearwood channel, and I'm here to review The Accountant, starring Ben Affleck. And it starts Ben Affleck, he's a guy with, you know, autism, uh, uncontained, it's, well, there's flashbacks of him as a, ch as a child where he has very uncontained autism. Um, his mom, it shows also in these flashbacks where his mom walked out on the family because she couldn't take take it anymore like all the moving around and you know his condition worsening basically she walks out on the family and you know his dad ha is a is this army officer kind of have like a tough love approach and kind of like tough toughening up both his sons and uh they uh you know has him trained in martial arts have him one time uh defend his brother which is that is that scene you see in the trailer where he t where you know the father tells the kid like hey uh they, they, they're not f they don't hate you they don't like you or dislike you they're just scared of you and pe people fear uh pe pe people are are afraid of what they're not used to and something to that effect where you know and then he walks out in the rain and beat these kids up you know it comes to that pretty awesome scene we see in the trailers a few months ago um i i want to say ben affleck I, I i'm not a big ben affleck fan but i don't you know i know there's some people who talk shit about ben affleck but I, i'm not one of them either um i would say he played his role very well um you know if you I don't I, I don't know what to say but those of you who want to criticize his take on Batman or or overlook his take on I just overlooked his take on Batman I'm, even though I'm not a fan of his bat being Batman I I would say for this movie he was good in his role um he he, he was just very even he had some humor about him that it was subtle but it was just un, also unexpected at the same time as like you know, there's very subtle humor in this movie. You know, Anna Kendrick was great in her role. Um, you know, she has that quirkiness that makes her Anna Kendrick. Like, yeah, I mean, what can I say? She's, you know, what, what, I mean, what can I say? She has that element that, you know, it makes you feel like what, why she's Jessica in the Twilight movies. Um, and you know jk simmons was great in his role i mean of course jk simmons you want someone who who's a a dick i mean whether it's whiplash where he won an oscar for or whether it's the you know toby mcguire spider-man's where he plays um where he plays mr daily bugle guy uh uh oh fuck jameson where he plays jonah jameson i mean yeah he he's the guy you call i mean I don't know. I, I, I think I would rather, you know, J.K. Simmons as a douche versus Peter Riegert as a douche. That's just my preference. I, I know there's people who loved the shit out of Peter Riegert or Riegert, whatever you call that guy's name, but I, I, I'm not one of them. Um, um, John Lithgow, I mean, he's, you know, John Lithgow's the bad guy, and and even his demise is kind of the way he dies in the film is is just funny. I mean, I was in the theater, uh, uh, the main place theater out here in, out in Santa Ana, two dollar theater, and it people when let go dies goes down. It's like people don't go. Oh, it's like people just laugh. I mean, the, the the just the way I know this is a spoiler, but like just just the way Affleck kills. John Lithgow, it, it just, people just chuckled. It's like, and, and just burst out in, in laughter the way Lithgow dies. Um, um, the performance was great. The story was great. I mean, yeah, the pacing was kind of slow. Not as not as terrible as, as Rogue One, but um, I, I say I had a grand old time. That's my rating, grand old time, three out of four stars. And that's my review. And I know it's been a while since I did a retro review and I'll just I'll just make my Thursday retro review a, a surprise. So that's my that's my video and you have a good one.